And here we are in Quincy. This is a row of eggplants. There's five varieties in here. And right over there, the guinea fowl doing their job. I'm gonna get closer to these eggplants. And there in the back is the new pole barn. It's a 28 by 20, I think he told me. And I think it's got a 16 foot tall roof. Let's go look at those eggplants. Get a close up and see what they look like. There's uh, the Asian purple kind are in here. And there's the Asian black kind. Let's see, we get down here. There's a purple one out in there. Look at them growing in there. There's one. Look at that. <laughs> and over here is the black kind. Let's look at them. These were all just picked last week and they're already got more to go, you know? There's plenty of eggplant. So that's two kind. Then over here, there's the more traditional looking kind. I don't know if these are the black beauty or what, but these are some long rows. Let's take a look at one down in here. There are some down in there. Look at that. They seem to grow really good. Look how shiny they are. Wow. And look at those rows. I think they're 150 feet long. There's one little caterpillar house back there. I think they're not going to use that one anymore. There's a new one right here. It's got some new plastic on it just a couple of weeks ago. And over there's the house. Truck in the van. Main house. The garage next to it. And over here, there's a great big crepe myrtle. White one. This tree sort of resembles a monkey puzzle, but it's some variety of that. And there's some newly planted fruit trees over there. It's got uh, loquats, named varieties, not just the common ones. In the back there, that's a big fig tree. There's two gigantic fig trees. And they're full of figs right now, but they're not ripe yet. And there's some citrus trees back there. And they got the different varieties of persimmons growing back there. Several of those, like, yeah. And there's pear trees, too. And uh, he's got some avocados in the back that are cold hardy, and even a variety that the skin is edible. So I never heard of that before. So let's go look over here. This is the driveway that comes into the place can't see it much from here but anyway there's a little bit of a woodsy part left over here some of these are pecan trees but they don't uh, harvest the pecans or anything over there's where Aaron used to grow the mushrooms but I think they gave up on that and over there some pecan wood over there from a tree they had to cut down in order to uh, build the pole barn let's walk over that way a little bit See the pole barn down there from here. Sorry, it's kind of shaky, but that's a place to keep the tractor and lots of uh, implements and all the uh, equipment and fertilizer and stuff that they want to keep dry. Anyway, on the other side of the eggplant patch are the blueberries. There's 150 blueberry plants back there, and the production of those just ended. And uh, beyond that, you can see the roof of a greenhouse back there. That is where the tomatoes are growing. Great big slicers. And, uh, oh, next door here to the eggplant, this field was just turned over and they've planted a cover crop. And uh, it's kind of like black eyed peas, but they don't let them produce anything. They grind, uh, turn them under again before they uh, produce to add nitrogen to the soil. And there's a couple other large fields uh, like that too, where they've grown 
planted a cover crop for the summer and uh, they'll turn all that under and then start again the production in the fall. We'll just keep on walking down there because it's hard to uh, explain what it is without actually seeing it. This is the pump house. And that's where the guineas go in at night in that little cage gem pen. The shade cloth on the roof. In here's a, a little miniature greenhouse that it's got some of those uh, pea shoots that they grow. And we had some salad last night with the pea shoots. It was really good. And here's some of the cover crop beds right now. Nothing in production at the moment. Just some leftover stuff. These are, you know, 150 feet, 250 long, feet long. This whole area will be in production later. Back there are some peppers and um, different varieties of peppers and uh, behind the greenhouse, which is full of the big tomatoes, there's row after row of cherry tomatoes. And again, several different varieties, not just one kind of cherry tomato. And uh, anyway, this is all the ground is there, so all the way up to those trees. There's the nearest neighbor over there. They grow some chickens, nothing in production. But uh, let's go back over here. Well, let's cut through here because I want you to see this uh, triple sink they have. So when they're growing salad greens, they triple wash them, which means they just dump them into this one sink and rinse them and squish them around. And then they put them in the next sink and squish them around and then they put them in the third sink by then they're real clean and then they put them in this which is an old washing machine that's set up to only spin so they put the greens in that tub and spin all the water out of them and then they take them inside here in the garage and they got tables set up and they uh, put them in bags and here's some more of those pea shoots growing ready to be planted and just various things here on the carport and back here is the backyard. These are tea olives up here next to the house. They smell really good. And anyway, all this is their land out there. It's not really in production except for these are where those pear trees are that I was telling you about. And some other types of fruit trees. And uh, over there is the really deep well and the new pump that is, uh, produces enough water for the farm. They got a separate pump just for the house now. And uh, I forget how deep that pump, that well goes, but it's like two or three or 400, 500 feet, something like that. And back there was another production. They were growing all kinds of broccoli and cauliflower and stuff back there. But right now it's just got the cover crop. Anyway, that's it for now.